What a woman needs in order to be powerful, I believe is a strong sense of confidence in her independence. What makes me more resilient and stronger every day? I think meditation and therapeutic work to, uh, that is really what's helped me the most over the past couple years. What makes me happy is laughing with the people I love, whether that is my family or my friends or the, the people that I work with. As long as I'm laughing, that makes me happy. A word I can relate with happiness would be equality. I believe that if we all had equality in this planet, there would be a lot more happy people, a lot of people that would feel less alone and that feel like they matter in this world. A beauty product I can't live without is Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer. A perfect moment for me would be laying on the beaches of Bora Bora in the sun and the crystal clear water with all of my friends, all of my family, and anybody else that I want there. My guilty pleasure are crime shows. I love watching crime shows like murder mysteries, things like that. Something I really enjoyed this quarantine was the time off that I got. Um, I got to spend a lot of time, you know, on my own, getting to know myself, meditating, swimming. I swam a lot this summer, which I love to do and I never really get to do. Uh, so that was really cool. Yeah, that, I, I did a lot of work on myself, which I'm, I'm really proud of. I guess the song that's stuck in my head right now is Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. The first thing that I put in my bag is my phone and the last thing is my mask. I love Mexico. I love Mexico because it was actually the first country that I ever went to outside of the United States. The food is incredible. It's super close to my home state, Texas, and this one, California. But <laughs> it's, um, I, I just, I always have an amazing time there, whether it's vacationing or touring or um, just traveling through. The last place I went in Latin America, I believe, was Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And uh, I went on vacation. I think five words that I would use to describe the empowered Latina woman would be strong, caring, passionate, brave. Every empowered Latina woman has a little spice in her, so I'm gonna say spicy as my last one. What I learned in 2020 is no matter how much you want to change the world around you, people won't change until they change themselves. And so I think we have to go within before we can help. That's what I learned. I get my inspiration from the people that I spend time around the most. So if that is on tour with the people I work with, I find myself very creatively inspired. But um, if I'm just hanging out with my friends and spending a lot of time talking to them, you know, I find myself more inspired to be my truer self and to have no fear. My friends are really incredible and, and they support me in who I am to the fullest. So I think just the way that they inspire me is by helping me share who I am with the world. <laughs>